Hey there, welcome back to Quality Time. I'm Daddy Clay. We've got Caitlin from Girl Start here and she's gonna help us make some dry ice cream. And I've got my spoon. Hey Caitlin, welcome back to the studio. Thanks, thanks. Thanks for coming back. We wanted to come back after doing a segment with Daddy Brad. Most people won't. Oh, no problem. We yeah. had fun. Really? We're going to play with dry ice again. Cool. Great. Okay, what are we going to do today? So we're going to make some dry ice ice cream. Always good. Everybody, Excellent. Every kid loves ice cream. Yeah. Ben, Jerry, eat your hearts out. Right. And this is a little bit cheaper than Ben and Jerry's. Excellent. Um, and you can make it. It's a great activity that you can do with your kids. Love it. Um, so the very first thing is you need some whipping cream, some condensed milk, and then some sort of flavoring. We have strawberry today because that's what we found. Sure. So that works out just fine. A measuring cup, a bowl, a spoon, and we'll need dry ice. But let's get all the ingredients together first. Yeah, the best part is it's it's the spoon. I mean, I'm, the spoon's the best part. I hope I'm you're not. helping out really well. I mean, but the things you're doing is good That's too. That's great. But the spoon pretty much makes it. Perfect. Yeah. So about two servings is the amount of that I'm gonna tell you. The different. Okay. So about five ounces of whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Pour it in. And it's sort of like I'm cooking, except I'm not really. Doing not really. Anything. What next? Okay, so now we have our condensed milk. Yep. So you want about three ounces of condensed milk. I mean, oh. let's talk about how yummy that looks. But yeah. don't worry, it's going to turn into delicious ice cream here in a minute. That's I I have that in my coffee every morning. <laughs> That's really healthy for you. So good. Ice cream should maybe be more of a treat with some condensed milk. Mm, so okay. let's scrape all of it out of there. This is excellent because usually science experiments can't give you diabetes. Well, I'm not saying do the science experiment all the time. Right. Just it's special. special then you days. you do it with the kids because right. it's raining special outside days. and they're driving you crazy. Okay, so then a yeah. little over a teaspoon of flavoring, however Strong you want. Good. Okay. Can you do mix-ins? Can you like throw in some, you know, it's like vanilla like, strawberry? Just like some Skittles or something like that. After you have it whipped together, okay, you can throw some mix-ins. Just... Correct. So next you have the dry ice. Dry ice. Okay. Well, dry ice comes in a really big package like this. Right. However, you can't, you don't want to eat dry ice, so you need to smash it down into a powder. Oh, I see. The back of a hammer works really, really well. And you've got some that's smashed it. up right there. So I have of. some that's already been smashed yeah. up. Yeah, so it looks like, oh, like sort of the consistency of salt. Right. Very fine granules. Exactly. So this works best with two people. Okay, I'm stirring, I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Ow! No, I'm kidding. Oh, wow, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, keep stirring. I'm stirring in a blizzard. A metal bowl actually works better than a plastic bowl. I can just tell that this must, this experiment must make kids really excited. They are really excited, because now they're making their own ice cream. And the best part about it is you get to eat it afterwards. That's it. It's like, for me, this constitutes like a huge workout. Like, I'm really earning this, this ice cream right now. Okay. So, I think I did a really good job stirring. No, you did a fantastic job stirring. You're exceptional. Exceptional I job. I would say. If you can see really Probably closely. Probably the best you've ever seen. This was better than what I did earlier see. today. Mm -hmm. It is, really. Keep saying. Exactly. As you can see, um, my dry ice was not pounded out as powder, really, really thin as possible. And you can see it at the bottom. We don't want to eat those. Yeah. But if you take the extra effort to pound it out completely, right. you won't have this problem. Tiny, tiny pieces of dry ice, and you don't get the you don't get the. You want it to be more of a powder than tiny pieces. Okay. Really tiny. Okay. Okay. So now I think we both have to eat some. Oh really? You have to eat what you just made. Heck yeah, I do. Okay. So the rule is though, because since we have some chunks, you can't. Uh -huh. If you have a chunk, don't eat it. Okay. Don't eat the chunks. Hmm. Science never tasted so good. No, but seriously, this is delicious. Thanks a lot, Caitlin, for coming in. No problem. Thanks also to Girl Start. You gotta go on to girlstart.org. Right. Is that your website? Mm -hmm. Go to girlstart.org and learn about this really cool organization. And as long as you're online, you know what you gotta do? Go over to dadlabs.com and make a little profile for yourself. Join in the community there and learn about cool things like uh, dry ice cream. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. And we'll share with you. Yeah. Not.